Okay, so this is Mrs. Often here with a lesson on solving exponential and logarithmic equations without using the one-to-one -one property. Previously, we've used the one-to-one -one property equating the argument of a logarithm or um, making the base the same and equating the exponents in an exponential expression to solve equations. However, we encounter many problems in mathematics like e to the x power plus 5 equals 60 or 3 times the quantity 2 to the x power equals 42, which cannot be solved using the one-to-one -one property. So we need to know how can we solve problems such as these. Well, in good news, that's one other place where logarithms can help us. So we're going to solve each of these sample equations using logarithms. Um, you will need to know the change of base unless you have your base 2 logarithms memorized. So I guess that's your choice. We'll be using natural logarithms, however, on this side. So the first thing I'm going to do is isolate this exponential expression. I'll subtract 5 from each side, and that will give me e to the x equals 55. Now, I know that there is some power that I can raise e to that will give me 55, but I don't know what that power is. Recall that we can rewrite exponential expressions as logarithmic expressions. So this is another way of saying log to the base e of 55 equals x. And we know that log to the base e is equal to natural log. Now in most mathematics textbooks, what they will suggest at this point is taking the natural logarithm of both sides. And the reason for that is because you can flexibly switch between these two examples. So I'll go ahead and take the natural log of both sides, natural log of e to the x and natural log of 55. Now, natural log of e to the x is going to be equal to x. Natural log of 55 is an irrational number, so I'm going to determine that value using my calculator. And I get 4.007. In order to check this, I'm going to again use my calculator and use the e to the x button to raise e to the 4.007 power and then add 5 and feel confident that I get 60 back. Now on a calculator I get 59.98. This tells me that I'm good enough for where I need to be. If you want more precision, of course, you can carry your answer out to more decimal places. I'll do the same thing here. As I said, this problem is going to involve change of base. So first step, to isolate 2 to the x power, I'll divide both sides by 3. This gives me 2 to the x equals 14. And now, I can say, well, log to the base 2 of 14 equals x. And I'll do the same thing. Now, instead of taking natural log on both sides, I'll take log to the base 2 on both sides. So since my base of my logarithm and my base of my exponential expression match, I have that x is equal to log to the base 2 of 14. Using change of base here, I can calculate x as log of 14 divided by log of 2. So let's go ahead and do that. This is a 2.
and I get an answer of 3.807. So again, I'm going to check this answer by substituting in and doing 2 to the 3.807 power, multiplying that answer by 3, and again, I get 41.99. To me, that's close enough to 42, and I feel satisfied that I've done it correctly. A slightly more challenging problem could look like this. Again, my method is going to be the same. Isolate the exponential expression. I'll do that by first adding 4 to both sides and then dividing by 2. So now I have 3 to the power 2t minus 5 equals 7.5. My logarithm base here is going to be 3. Remember that this is like saying log to the base 3 of 7.5 equals 2t minus 5. So again, taking the logarithm on both sides, logarithm base 3, I get 2t minus 5 equals log to the base 3 of 7.5. Again, I have to use change of base. I can't solve at this point. I guess I could, but I'd still have some unknown irrational number here. So I'd like to get a decimal value for this before progressing on, and I'll do that with change of base. So. Again, that's log 7.5 for log 3, and that is 1.83, or 1.834, more precisely. So I have 2t minus 5 equals one point. 8, 3, 4, and this is easy enough to solve using basic algebra. I'll add 5 to both sides and then divide by 2 to get my final answer for t. Three point four one seven. Now, I will leave checking that answer up to you. However, I do remind you that you should evaluate this exponent fully, okay, know exactly what this is as a number before raising 3 to that power. Okay. Now, we have one of the more challenging types of equations. This equation is called quadratic type. e to the 2x power minus 5e to the x plus 6 equals 0. This is called quadratic type because this exponent, 2 to the x power, is twice the size of this exponent. So it is quadratic type. We're going to solve this with factoring. Keep in mind that e to the 2x power is the same as e to the x power squared. So. So now I have something squared minus 5 times that same something plus 6 equals 0. I can factor this expression. My factors will begin with e to the x power. And I need things that multiply to make positive 6 and add to make negative 5. There they are. And so 
I'll solve each of these equations separately, setting them each equal to zero. I have e to the x equals 2 from the first equation. And from the second equation, I get e to the x equals 3. Now, just doing a quick check here, both of these do have solutions. I can take the logarithm of these two positive numbers. So I'll go ahead and take the logarithm of 2 and that is 0.693 and take the logarithm of 3 to get my other value for x and that is 1.099. So these are the two values that x could have that would make this equation true. Again, if you substitute these, you're going to get something that's pretty close to zero, but not exactly zero because they're irrational numbers that I've rounded off. So that is the quadratic type equation. And finally, let's look at solving a logarithmic equation. In solving a logarithmic equation, the rules are very similar to solving exponential equations, only now I want to isolate the term with the logarithm. So here I'm being asked to solve 5 plus 2 times the natural log of x equals 4. Well, I'll subtract 5 from both sides and then divide by 2. This gives me 2 times the natural log of x equals negative 1. And so the natural log of x equals negative 1 half. Well, natural log of x is equal to log to the base e of x. If I rewrite this exponentially, I get e to the negative one-half power equals x. Okay, and again, I can evaluate this on the calculator. And I get 0 0.607. We can replace this value for x and use that to check our answer. Okay, And the final problem we're going to look at involves extraneous solutions, solutions that don't work in the original equation. This equation I like because it reminds you that you have to use those laws of logarithms. So I have log 5x plus log of the quantity x minus 1 equals 2. So I'm going to simplify this using the product property. Okay, so 5x times the quantity x minus 1, take the log of that and you get 2. Well, this is log to the base 10. So I'll rewrite this as an exponential expression and solve from there. Now I have log, I'm sorry, I don't have a log, I'm rewriting as an exponential expression, 5x times x minus 1 equals 10 squared. Well, 10 squared is just equal to 100. So I'll replace that 10 squared with 100. And you see that I'm going to have a quadratic here. 5x squared minus 5x equals 100. And I'll change this over to 5x squared minus 5x minus 100 equals 0 so that I can factor it. I can divide all of my terms by 5. 
giving me x squared minus x minus 20 equals 0. This can be factored into x minus 5 times x minus 4 equals 0. So x could be equal to 5, or x could be equal to 4. Now, in this case, we do want to go back and check, I'm sorry, x plus 4 there, x equals negative 4. We want to ta take each of these answers and check to see if they work. If I replace 5 in here for x, I get log of 25 plus log of 4. It turns out that that does equal to 2. If, however, I substitute negative 4, then I have 5 times negative 4. Log of negative 20, we cannot do in our current domain of the real numbers. So this is called an extraneous solution. It is a solution that you get along the way, but it doesn't work in the domain of the original problem. So our only answer is x equals 5. And that's how you solve exponential and logarithmic equations.